So uh, I examined two novels and gender binaries within them. As humans, we we tend to define the world completely in binaries, in extremes, and in opposites. So we can't really define anything without sort of knowing what its opposite is. Really, our gender identity is probably one of the most important aspects of our identity. It's how we uh, show ourselves to others. So in the two novels that I'm studying, in one, the people are um, androgynous, and in the other one, uh, the main character is intersex. So two novels that sort of speak to these gender issues and the binaries um, are two that I chose to compare, and they're very, very different, but it was interesting to find connected pieces. And the first one is called The Left Hand of Darkness um, by a very famous science fiction author, Ursula K. Le Guin. It's from 1969, so it's pretty old, but uh, this book was hugely popular and won the two greatest uh, science fiction prizes that you could win in the same year, which is something that's really, really rare, the Hugo and the Nobel Award. Uh, basically, this book is about Gen Wei Ai, who is a human male, and he travels to a planet of genderless people. So um, what this story is really about is about him coming to terms with what it would be like to live on a genderless planet and what that would look like, because it's, it's almost impossible for us. It pretty much is impossible for us to imagine that, because our own perspectives are so engendered. We tend to look at things from our own gender perspective. So. This is a very interesting uh, thought experiment. The other book is very different. It takes place on Earth. Um, it's called Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, who is a pretty up and coming, pretty famous author. Now he's obviously Oprah's book club, so I guess he's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and this is a modern American epic. It's a very interesting book about uh, that basically traces a mutated gene in a family line from Smyrna, which is um, near Greece to uh, about 1960s Detroit. And the mutated gene is what causes the main character, um, Calliope, uh, to have a transgendered nature. So the book is basically about her transition from Callie to Cal. So what this book really is, is um, it's an advocate for the transgender community, and it's a narrative that we don't get to hear very often at all. So it's very, very interesting. Um, and it's told from Cal's perspective, so. First binaries that I found was the concept of masculine linearity versus feminine circularity. In The Left Hand of Darkness, it's very much different. There's much more of a balance, and I really attribute it to the fact that there is no gender, so there are no gender roles on this planet. Um, they're much more concerned with their presence in society than this constant progress. And what I kind of learned, I guess, ultimately from this is that although we as humans define the world in binaries, and it's pretty much impossible to ever take away this viewpoint, it really does help to examine um, what it would be like to live in perhaps an androgynous world, to try to take a step back from our very engendered perspectives and look at things in a different light. 